everyone and welcome to a episode of i guess vgc we're gonna be playing um some ladder matches online um i'm gonna i'm kind of still in two minds which team to play so that ranking right there i haven't played for like a week so that's why everyone else has got to master tier got there in like the first couple hours so that's why yeah we've got i got a couple of teams like i was saying i'm kind of in two minds which one i want to play um <clears throat> I would like to play this one. I think I'm going to play the Antelion one. This is another one we'll keep for another time. It's really good. I've played a bunch with it on the ladder on Showdown. Um, so I've got it in game. So we can do that. Might play that on stream. So we'll see what happens. We'll kick off with this one. And as always, at the end of the week, I'll share the, um, the, the rental team, I guess. It's not a QR code team anymore, is it? So we'll hop on. We'll see how we're getting on. But the Antelion is, is a really interesting Pokemon. It wasn't something that I thought would be that great when the the new Pokemon got released, um, but it seems to be it seems to be pretty good. So let's check out our opponent, running Rot um, W, uh, Ludicolo, uh, Durant, Togekiss, Grimmsnarl, and Excadrill. And I have have I even introduced myself? I'm Lee, uh, also known my handle Osiris. Um, so <clears throat> you might know me, you might not know me. I've got a decorated history in VGC. Decorated as I've been playing a long time. I've had some good finishes. Finished probably my best finish is going to be seventh place at the 2014 World Championship. So I top cut there um, and did all right. And I've had good finishes in other events as well. But um, nothing since 2018 where I finished second in Sheffield Regional. So uh, unfortunately, I haven't had. Uh, I haven't. I didn't really play last season, so that's one of the reasons why. But hopefully this season we'll be back on it and uh, doing some good stuff. Okay, what do we want to do? Like, we're worried about the Durant, of course, because the Durant causes us all sorts of issues. Um, I do want to lead Inteleon, I think, because there's no, like, immediate speed control. Uh, there's obviously the, uh, the Grimmsnarl there that could be a bit of a problem. Um, but I think I've got Arcanine just for that Intimidate. Do I want to bring in... Oh, we've got to be quick. Let's bring Darmanitan and Rapuria. Let's go with that, I guess. Rotom Cut could have been really good there as well, you know, for the, the Ludicolo and the Rotom W. But we're running out of time because I'm talking far too much. But the battle will be very entertaining. I, I can guarantee you that, guys. I can guarantee you. I will try my best to make it entertaining, so... Let's see, there's that Grim Skull. The Tower Master and the Rotom. Okay. So that kind of makes sense, you know. Um, seeing the Rotom come out for the Inteleon, of course. Uh, does the Rotom Dynamax here? Yeah. I, I kind of bank on saying it probably does, right? Because um, we could potentially keep Rotom, uh, our Inteleon for later. Um, do we want to actually max here? Probably not. We don't want to take a Thunderbolt. I predict they go Thunderbolt there. Um, and they probably... I mean, they might like double it into the Arcanine to get rid of it. If they've got the Durant sitting in the back, which which would make a lot of sense. Um, <clears throat> we could bring in Darmanitan, which would take a Hydro Pump. So I'm going to pull a double switch. I can't see my opponent going for a Hydro Pump into Inteleon. Just doesn't make sense. Um, so we'll get Rhyperia in. We need to try and like make ourselves a little bit of room, I guess. Because um, one of the, the issues is the Thunder Wave there coming out into Enteleon and doubling in on it. So we get away with it. Um, <clears throat> now we could max, for sure. Um, and double into the Rotom. The only problem is... I don't really want to take a Hydro Pump. I we probably will take a Max Hydro Pump from Rotom. And I'm going to go for it. I think we'll go for it. Um, and we'll go for a U-turn into... Thing is, the Grimstar is going to... It's definitely going to paralyze Darmanitan for sure. We'll go for it. We'll just get the chip in. I really need to get rid of the Rotom. I think not bringing our Rotom cut... Is oh, a big issue, obviously. I think um, if you brought that, it would have made this whole pairing a lot easier to deal with. But 
Let's see. We're up for the challenge to try and get around it, of course. <clears throat> now we should take a hydro pump. Shit. There's the thunder wave. Oh, we avoided. Wow. Okay. And we'll get some decent damage off because we are choice banded. And proc a citrus berry. Man, that does so much damage. We'll get Arcanine in for Darmanitan. Because there's a chance, like if they go, if they don't go hydro pump, they probably want to be targeting Darmanitan with, I guess, an attack or a Will O Wisp to kind of shut it down for later on in the match. It's suspecting that it's potentially scarfed, I guess. Um, but we'll bring Ark back in, and the Snarls will help support. Yeah, there's the Will O Wisp. Oh, <laughs> right, period dodging like a madman. Okay, so that's. Bye bye, Rotom. Wow, my opponent's not having the best of times here. I mean, missing T Wave and the uh, the Will O Wisp, that's pretty brutal. But, I mean, you pay, you're playing quite passively here, so I guess that this kind of thing will happen. And imagine that Durant will be what comes in next. And you know, the last minute, last minute change, I changed Ice Punch. Uh, and put that on Rhyperia, and I had Fire Punch. If you'd had Fire Punch right now, it would have been so, so good. Okay, Ludi coming in. Um, not ideal, but not the worst. Um, we just go for another Mox Rockfall and just go for a Snarl, I think. Yeah. I think the Ludi might, might max. But because of Sands up, we've got the special defensive boost at least this turn, so we should be alright. It's just whether loot like, I don't even think, uh, Max, Max Ludi probably does take down Arcanine. It's whether or not you want to take down Arcanine or not. And maxing here means they probably haven't brought Durant to this matchup. So, I'm happy about that. I don't really like seeing Durant. At all. Uh, so Ludi, it's probably going to try and set its rain up, but we're going to deny that with our Iperia. Um, and I think we should take Max Geyser as the... Reflect coming out. Smart Grim Snarl play. Uh, oh, we got the Snarl off, which is nice. So that's that's really, really useful for us. Um, and by attacking last, we're obviously going to deny the rain being up. So if they do go for the... Depends, they might go for... A, yeah, they go for the Max guys are trying to get that rain up. But we should take this, especially after the Snarl. Wow. Okay, it's into Arcanine. Well, I mean, you're kind of leaving the Rhyperia alone. Probably because they don't want to proc the weakness policy. Um... Honestly, I don't really mind. I don't really mind losing an Arcanine here. I don't think. Unless the Durant is in the back. The Reflect is obviously coming in massive for my opponent right now. But we keep the, the Sand up for at least one more turn anyway. Um, we've got one more turn until we undynamax uh, Don Manitan. Of course. It's going to be the one. Because a U-turn should take out the Ludicolo for sure right now. Um, they'll probably try and T-wave Darmanitan, but I mean, do I really, really mind? Not, not really. So we'll double end to Ludi. The only issue is here if they max guard, which they potentially could do. Um, I could see them potentially doing that. It's our last turn of our max. Uh, Dynamax turns, so I mean, it would make sense. And then the next turn, you're kind of in a good position to throw out a Max Geyser onto like either target, I guess. There's a Thunder Wave, it will connect this time. Hopefully, we move. If we move, we're paralyzed. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. That's what we want to see. Okay, that's not ideal. I mean, it really isn't ideal. Oh no, we do. Okay, okay. I take it back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Now we get good old Inteleon in. I literally thought we um, we got fully paralyzed that turn. Never mind. Ignore me. It's been a long day. It has been a long day. I will say that. So we'll get rid of the Ludi on our last turn of our IMAX. Like I say, I think my opponent would have been better off maybe going full. <clears throat> Max guard there. At least we would have put them in a better stead going into the next turn. And Dalmanitan's trapped in then. 
they're still in a like a really tricky position, but I mean, it's not that bad. And you can see like the pressure, like they know that the weakness policy is on right period, they don't want to proc it, but I mean, at the same time, you're kind of better off just attacking into it, because if <laughs> your last Pokemon's Togekiss, what hope do you have? Not a, not a lot, to be honest. Um, okay, so we'll Rock Slide, and Inteleon's gonna get T-Waved, for sure. For sure. So we'll try we'll sack we'll try and get Darm in to kind of just take that T wave. And see if we can at least get some damage out with, with Rhyperia before uh, Inteleon does get fully paralyzed by the uh, the T wave stuff. So there's the T wave. Uh doesn't green coming out. Ooh, Darm just takes a crit on Rhyperia, that's super luck. Other kiss. The reflect is gonna be massive for my opponent here. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, the sand chip's nice. We're gonna lose Darmanitan here, unfortunately. Um, it's it's alright. It's not the worst thing in the world. Inteleon coming in. There's not really much we can do to get around the T wave. The best, the like the one hope we've got is if we can just not be fully paralyzed and get an ice beam into the Togekiss. And that'll be enough with the rock slide, for sure. It's like more than enough, so. Pending RNG, we should be all right here, I'm hoping. Oh, not going for the T-Wave. I think that's a bit of a bad move, to be honest, because we're gonna get a life orbed ice beam into this Togekiss. If it hasn't got citrus or a super berry, it's kind of done for now. Um, you're banking on going for an air slash into Rhyperia, which is, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Um, no crits this time. Rock slide hits, and that's it. So that's, I guess, a nice um, opener for the team. Nice and easy for us to kind of get a, a, at least a win off the mark anyway. Um, I've not really shown any of the mods in the team yet, uh, but <laughs> except that it, it kind of works, I guess. Um, so we'll go for another, no, we'll not go for rock slide. We don't want to be risking anything really here. We'll go for that and snipe shot. Okay, Snipe Shot is a cool move. The main premise of the team is obviously using Inteleon because it's such a good Dynamax Pokemon. You've got the, the Snipe Shot, which, you know, obviously helps against Gastrodon initially, but you've got the, the Max Geyser that can protect stuff on the team from Fire-type attackers. You've got the Air Slash, which gives you the instant boost, and that's the premise behind running Choice Band uh, Dormanitan. So we can get the, the, the Speed Boost, before pretty much anything else can attack and then Darmanitan can just donk on stuff. Um, you normally see like Inteleon with uh, Vanillax and that was initially the, the, the kind of the starting point but I felt like Inteleon could support Bandit Darmanitan really well and I love Darmanitan. It's like one of the only Pokemon in the game that we've got access to that can one-shot Togekiss and Togekiss being such a problem at the moment. I think it, it's like it's a genuine Pokemon to think about Um I don't know why it, not more people are playing it to be honest. So we've got Kirge up next. There's our next opponent, uh, Tyranitar, Excadrill and a standard Sand Call. You've got Chandelier I'm presuming is going to be Anti-Trick Room also sets Trick Room up for things like Tyranitar and Gastrodon. Uh, Togekiss support makes sense and then the Rotom Cut. So I'd imagine we're looking at probably something like Weakness Policy T-Tar is what I want to say. Uh, it's that. That would be my guess and that would probably be the main max mod. Um, the question is can we run Inteleon? As our lead here, or do we want to go down maybe a trick room route? Um, hmm. I think I'm quite happy going in Teleon, to be honest. Uh, Domanitan as well. The only issue would be if my opponent leads Sand, um, because the Excadrill, if it's Sand Rush, will get the jump on on Inteleon before we can do much. But I mean, if we've got if we've got Arcanine in the back, at least we've got the Intimidate. To kind of help us out and they're not going to take us down once we're maxed so it should be all right and i think our on rotten cut here will be the one i'm still not convinced with the the the, the tagged on the dusclops right here it makes sense for the team but i don't know if it's the right 
the right pairing to kind of round up this team. It's kind of like why I probably am going to have a few matches with it this week on the channel and we'll kind of come to a conclusion about whether we want to keep certain elements or change things up. I would probably like to showcase the Vanillux in this team as well over the Darmanitan at some point this week, so we'll do that. Um, but we're seeing my opponent lead out with Excadrill Chandelure. Uh, the Sash is probably going to be on the Chandelure, I would say. So we'll go, we'll, we'll max. Um, now, do we get rid of the Chandelure or do we go, go for the Excadrill? Now it's, it's more likely that the Chandelure is going to be... Uh, gonna not have protect so that's the one I'm gonna double into go for the U-turn and I'm gonna max geyser so yeah it's gonna be T-Tar oh it's not oh no it's Gastrodon and we've maxed so they've baited us completely because snipe shot is gone so we're not gonna be able to do any sort of max geysering um, we should get a U-turn off before the extra drill can attack um, <laughs> why it would be better potentially not max here kind of scared i kind of thought maybe the tyranitar would come in that slot okay so the extra drills just protects that's not the worst because i mean we're gonna get a max guys has wasted right but we get raw some cutting so that is like not a bad thing at all like at all it's just we're probably not gonna man look at that, that oh great okay i was like if that wasn't a crit, <laughs> like, Band Dom is broke. It's so broke. But I mean, that damage is still pretty big. Um, <laughs> it kind of puts Gastrodon in a really bad spot. Um, so, we max Darkness. I think the Gastrodon. We could max Air. Air yeah, we got a max Airstream. Might be quite useful. And go for a Will of West into the extra drill. Yeah, we'll do that. I think the Gastrodon switch is here for Tyranitar. That would be my best guess. And the Excadrill might max here. Maybe. But if we, yeah. We're not seeing any switches though, which is kind of interesting. Um, What's maxing? Is it going to be the Gastro? No, it's the Excadrill. But we should get the speed boost. Um, and get the Willow Wisp off onto the Excadrill before it's able to move. So that kind of shuts it down. Unless it's Lum, of course. Could be Lum. But they should take down Gastrodon. Yeah. And give us a speed boost. And then a Burnt Excadrill. I mean, now we're able next turn to use our Geyser as well. Right. There we go. One Toasted Excadrill. Uh, Max Rock Ball. Well. Oh. You can see setting up the sand for itself though, so it could potentially be um, Sandrush. I would imagine it's Sandrush when you're seeing it paired with Tyranitar. It is Life Orb as well. So, and then taking a bit of chip damage with the sand, there's the burn. Um, it's going to be faster than everything right now. Chandler coming in, coming in. Okay, but we can use our Max Geyser. And I think we do go Max Geyser into Shandy. And I'm going to actually bring in Arcanine here. Uh, we'll get an Intimidate. Kind of puts Excadrill down to, to minus three. So it's not really going to be doing too much. My opponent hasn't got a safe switch in now for, um, for the Chandler going out into the Gastrodon. So we're fine. Uh, the Intimidate is pretty useful onto that extra right now and it puts my mind at rest I think knowing that the the extra drill is the max Pokemon it's not weakness policy Tyranitar that Pokemon scares me quite a lot um, and ideally what we want here is my opponent to use uh, max rockfall again which hopefully they do and get the sander so that Shandy Shand goes down heat wave coming out and we tank that because of the rain, which is nice. And oh, it's max wave, so okay. Special defense going up, but we should take this. Yeah. And the thing is, 
the rain's up now, so we're in such a good spot. Like, Arcanine, we can snarl, we can flamethrower. Well, we can't flamethrower the chandelier, because the flash fire won't let up. Um, but we can uh, we can snipe shot the Excadrill in the rain. Life orb. I'd imagine even Max. Depends how it's... It depends how um, it, it is uh, trained, of course. Um, and we'll just go for a snarl. And just get rid of the chandelier and the match cancelled okay well i think we're on the, the 20 minute 20 minute button so um i mean we kind of like that was a nice match we kind of got to showcase Intelli on there and we just overwhelmed my opponent i think they could have brought the tyrannosaur although they probably felt confident setting up their own sand and going from there the gastrodon probably being enough cover but um the, the dom crit did help us uh, out a bunch, but I think from that point we kind of overwhelmed my opponent. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode though. Uh, it's been a lot of fun kicking back into it. I'm going to be planning on doing like at least two episodes a week, so we'll probably have this one uh, Monday, we'll have another one up Wednesday, and potentially one Friday, but it might be just some of the highlights from the streams that we do this week. We'll be streaming Tuesdays, Thursdays, so do come by over on Twitch. I'm going to try and be as consistent as I can because I've been really inconsistent recently and it, it sucks. So I want to try and get back down to a good schedule with, um, with Twitch. I've just had a crazy month at work, which has just meant my content and yeah, streaming kind of suffered. But please subscribe to the channel. Do drop a like on the video. It really does help out the channel a bunch. It lets me know more than anything that you guys want to see VG content because that's the big thing that I've got hanging over my head right now. I want to know that this content's being watched. So let's try and get to 100 likes by the middle of the week. That would be like stamped that you guys want to see this content brought back. I'm not going to bring it back five days a week until I get some like uh, evidence that you definitely want to see this, that people are watching this. So that is that. Thanks for tuning in now, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're all well, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care.